No, listen. This isn't your grandma's old Civic. It's a Hasfen. And it's got a sunroof. The Honda Civic has now been around since 1973 and has undergone 10 different major transformations with each new generation. Starting in 2016, the 10th generation Civic has a new, mature look that puts the word sporty in your mouth. The 10th generation Civic comes in the two-door coupe, sedan, or the spacious hatchback style. If the buyer wants more performance out of their Civic, they can opt for the Civic SI or even the sportier Civic Type R hatchback, both of which only come in manual transmissions. The Civic hatchback specifically comes in five different trims. The base model LX, Sport, EX, EXL Navigation, and Sport Touring trims. The LX is very well equipped for a base model as it comes with automatic climate control, a multi-view rear camera, and a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine with 174 horsepower. The Sport model is a variation to the LX, adding 6 horsepower, a bigger rear spoiler, 18 inch alloy wheels, and fog lights. The EX trim adds to the base LX with a 7 inch display, a power moonroof, and a remote engine start. The EXL navigation includes, obviously, a navigation system and leather seating surfaces. Finally, the Sport Touring has luxury features like Honda Sensing, a premium 12-speaker sound system, and LED headlights. This particular Civic we have today is a 2018 EX hatchback. So on the exterior of the Civic, they got a lot right, but there are a few things that bug me. Now I wouldn't consider myself someone with OCD, but if you look down here, the Honda Sensing system does make this vehicle a tad unsymmetrical. You can see this sensor here, which is part of the Honda Sensing system in these fake vents. Fake vents are a big no-no in my book. You come over here, and there's no sensor right here. Instead, you only have like nine cutouts in this honeycomb design. I don't know why they just didn't cut out all of them and get rid of the fake grills, but hey, you know what? If that's my biggest complaint, they're doing good so far. You look at this side camera, another asymmetrical feature. This is part of the blind spot monitoring system. This is looking back in your blind spot. We'll show you if anyone's there. It's a cool feature, but it's not in the other mirror. So from the front, it can look a little funky. But those are my biggest complaints about this car, really. It's great. I think this hatchback is the best looking Civic from this generation. Of all the different types of Civic you can get, this is the best looking one. You have some really cool aggressive body lines here in the door, and along with this silver trim. I think that looks super cool. Furthermore, down here, these wheels, I am a big fan of these wheels. I think these are some of the coolest wheels that you can get on a stock car right now. They look super cool in black, and they kind of remind me of the Tesla Model 3 Aero wheels, except much higher quality. I'm a big fan of these rims. Good job, Honda. Now, as we move around to the back, again, we have more of these fake vents, tisk tisk. but that's really about all I have to complain about from back here either. You have these lobster claw taillights, as some enthusiasts like to call them. I personally like them a lot. You can tell what this car is from a far distance back. Now, if we look at these um, two wings back here, I think Honda got these right too. I think on the Type R, these wings were too big. It, it didn't look good. But here, while the wings don't necessarily look classy, they definitely look sporty and they give the car a unique look that I really like. Now, finally, you have one thing I did find kind of odd, not good or bad about this car, is you can't see the exhaust from the back. And a lot of cars do this now, but the only reason I find it weird on this car is because they went to such lengths to make it look sporty, but then they just didn't do a chrome exhaust or even a fake exhaust tip. But to be honest, I'd rather have no exhaust tip than a fake exhaust tip. Overall, great looking exterior. And here's what the exhaust sounds like. Under the Civic's hood, you'll find a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine making 174 horsepower and 167 pound-feet of torque. Also interesting to note that Honda doesn't put a cover though over their engine, they let you see everything going on. Yeah, including the name of this engine, Earth Dreams. For being such a sporty looking car, it's not exactly a fitting name. Now I wouldn't say the Civic is a sports car, but I say it's got a little kick. It has a 0 to 60 around 7.6 seconds. They gone! <laughs> On the Civic EX trim and above, the car comes with remote start. Make sure it's locked. And hold this button for three seconds. And it'll flash six times to let you know it's on. 
stepping into the Civic hatchback is fairly easy with smart key access. It is a push button start. So put your foot on the brake, click the start button to the right of the steering wheel here. This digital instrument cluster is customizable in the middle here using this button on the steering wheel. This one on the far left here shows fuel economy and range. This is a turbo gauge. This is oil life, music. You can skip or rewind songs using these arrows here on the steering wheel. This is telephone settings, and if you live in a place where you need to be in kilometers over hour or vice versa, it does have this option. Passenger and driver side windows are auto up down. Moving over to the center of the interior with a seven inch infotainment screen. This car does come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I have my iPhone plugged in right now. Moving down a little bit, these are our climate controls. You do have heated front seats. Moving down even more, we do have a brake hold function. This is your emergency brake. It is electronic. And you have an econ mode, which makes the AC blow a little, a little softer to save some fuel. Overall, very nice interior, good place to be. Eight speaker sound system. All the Civics come with at least a four speaker, 160 watt system. Sounds very good. The interior of the Honda Civic is pretty decent at this price point. There is hard touch plastic in areas like here and here, but you have a nice fake aluminum trim here that looks very good, honestly. A little bit of soft touch up here and nice soft armrest uh, to sit if you wanna keep a forearm on the one here and a hand on the steering wheel. The seats are manually adjustable, but it's very simple, very comfortable. The cup holders are honestly massive. I don't think this is a massive water bottle. It fits perfectly fine in here. You can open this up and adjust it like just how you want it, which is pretty cool. And I honestly have no problem going on a long road trip in this car. How about you, Jake? Me neither. The Civic treats its back passengers well. I'm six foot one and I have plenty of headroom and as you can see, plenty of leg room in here. Some additional features you'll find on this Civic hatchback is a power moonroof. Obviously you have your lights up here, touch the turn on, touch the turn off. Here are your visors, pretty decent mirror too. Nice light on that. And I wanted to expand upon this center console just to show you how big it is. You can completely customize it too as this, which holds my keys right now, can be put fully open and you can have a big compartment back here if you want to place something. And then this can slide back here and you can just push this over again. Also, you have some great room in here for whatever you want to place and some room down here for extra items. If you, you know, have a couple of loose things, you can't fit in the actual hatch. So that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We made this as a concept to show what we would like to do in the future. So please, liking and subscribing would do us a huge favor. We're just a small group of guys right now doing this for fun, but we'd like to take it further. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day, and Happy New Year.